clearly not have enough for some in need by next week. Here's CBS 4's Jacqueline Quinn. Some families go through nearly half a bag of diapers at six to ten diapers a day. So this delay can really impact some families that can't afford to buy diapers. We are looking at about 100,000 diapers on hand. The dwindling supply of diapers will likely last until this Friday. For perspective, Gabrielle Rojas says it usually looks like this at the Miami Diaper Bank in Hialeah, filled wall to wall. Right now, we'll only really be able to fill newborns once and three. Rojas is the chief executive director for the nonprofit. It serves communities all across South Florida. Many of these diapers are actually ready for distribution. What's in stock is already marked to go out, and they're essentially out of sizes five and six. Uh, so we are experiencing delay. We know that our local manufacturers are also short on diapers. And Roja says she's trying to go to local stores to buy diapers, but they're also low. Part of it, she says, is due to the impacts of Hurricane Ian. Yeah, Florida's geography is unique. It's a very long peninsula. You've got water on three sides and the, the the access in and out of the state. There's only a few ways to be able to get in and out. Charles Sachs, chief investment officer with Kaufman Ross and Wealth, as part of his job, watches what affects the economy, which includes supply chain issues. Produce, building materials, labor, all of those things. It's already, if you've been waiting for it to uh, drop down a little bit for your remodel or rebuild, now with what's going on over the next two years, I think it's going to be much tougher. With closed roads and detours on the western side of the state, it's causing traffic delays. Something similar happened after Hurricane Andrew. It's one thing if you're going up to the, the northeast through I-95, but 75 getting out to the mid and western part of the country, either on personal travel or goods and services, having to run through that over there. And Sachs also says it'll be tough for these roadways to handle all of the traffic towards rebuilding parts of the West Coast, so it may not be surprising to see empty shelves. Rojas just took these pictures when she was looking for diapers at a major retail chain nearby. Any families that don't have enough diapers, uh, that usually means that not only do they get diaper rashes, that could possibly mean an additional visit to the doctor or to the ER. So you can help by bringing in some unused diapers, especially in the size of five and six, or you can make a donation or even volunteer here at the Miami Diaper Bank. In Hialeah, I'm Jacqueline Quinn, CBS 4 News.